Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 64, Entity Permissions. The access to create, read, update, or delete records via Power Apps Portals is controlled using entity permissions. Entity permissions are different from security rules, which are used to control record access in the common data service. Users of Power Apps Portals are contacts and not system users like in CDS, and permissions are granted using web roles. Entity permissions are associated to web roles, and users on a portal get those permissions by their contact record being related to the web roles, or automatically based on the special anonymous and authenticated user's web roles. Unlike in CDS, where the security model is primarily based on the ownership of records, Entity permissions are primarily based on how the user's contact record is related to other records. A classic example would be the help desk scenario. Entity permissions can be configured to allow a contact to access any of the case records for which they are the primary contact. When creating an entity permission, you select the entity name, the scope, and depending on the scope, the relationship, and what permission you are enabling. This can include read, write, create, delete, append, and append to. Then, associate the entity permission to one or more web roles. If you miss this step, no one on the portal will get these permissions. The scope defines how a contact must be related to a record to get access. Options include global, which means they get access to all records, contact, which means they must be directly related to the record by the defined relationship, Account, which means their parent account must be directly related to the record by the defined relationship. Parental, which is used to chain entity permissions together. And self, which is access just to the current user's contact record, typically used to allow the user to update their personal profile. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 64 on entity permissions useful.